Hey everybody! Welcome to a very special episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, where today I'm going to teach you how to level up easily in Breath of Fire 3. We're going to be ex um, using the, tr the Lava Man leveling trick. So before even being able to do this though, you're going to need a few items. I'll show you what those items are. You most likely, uh, I will say, you want to have Gar in the party. That's that's kind of big. Always equip Gar with the asbestos armor. Try not to sell this after you get it from Mount Zublo, uh, which we got a long time ago when we traveled here in Mount Zublo. By the way, I'm in Mount Zublo right now. That's where you fight the lava men. Um, anyways, he it says here that it resists flame. Gar already has a 50% resist to flame. Equipping asbestos armor will make it 100% for Gar, so therefore he won't get hit by any flame attacks. Other than that, I got Pico in here just because he has the monopolized enemies, uh, monopolized skill, so he can hoard all the experience. Um, and I have him with the Ring of Fire. Um, those are the, you know, as far as the equipment goes, you know, I have the magma armor here, and you know, I don't have anything on because, in all honesty, it's doesn't really even matter. Um, fact of the matter is you need equipment that protects against fire. So if you don't have a magma armor, go ahead and pick one up from the Vulcans. Um, asbestos armor is pretty easily picked up, as is the Ring of Fire. So you know where to get that in Mount Zublo. Hopefully you didn't sell them. As far as items go, there are also a few items that you need to get. Um, I personally like to stock about 99 Molotovs. I've, I've been using them, so you know, that's why I'm down a little bit. You need three items. You need Molotovs, Ammonia, and Icicles. Ammonias are used, well, to heal your party, uh, revive your party members. It's pretty obvious. And Icicles are used to kill the Lava Men. So, um, that's pretty much it. But now I will show you and, and demonstrate the actual trick itself. Um, what you do is, if you remember, you can quote unquote level up the lava men um, by casting fire. I'm just I'm just gonna run away until I find the lava men. By the way, but basically what you do is you you just keep on casting fire elemental spells on them by using molotovs and um, or you could use burn. You know that enemy skill that you learn from the mage goo. You could use Simoon with Nina. You just use any, you flare with Gar, you know, any real, um, magic attack. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, just for this, this tutorial video, I'm gonna kill one Lava Man right now, um, just so that I can deal with one. If you wanna get a whole boatload of experience, go ahead and do this to two Lava Men. I, I don't care, whatever you wanna do. But, fact of the matter is, that uh, for this tutorial right now, I'm, I'm not going to do two. That's just way too uh, complicated. So, you know, after you level this guy up, the Lava Man up, about 20 times, that's when you want to kill him. So I've done two here now. Um, he, he's just going to keep absorbing the flame and all that stuff. We'll do Flame Strike. Um, but basically, you just want to do these um, Fire Elemental spells to level him up. And as you'll see, he'll get progressively stronger. 81 damage is a lot of damage. So, he, as he levels up, he's going to be casting... He's either going to be doing two things. He's either going to be doing flame spells or physical attacks. Now, here's the thing. He, he's been leveled up um, five times now, right? That means he, he's at a huge level right now, okay? Like, any physical attack that he does, it's going to kill you. You're, you're dead, you know, there's no doubt about it. Once somebody dies, you need to switch from doing Molotovs to casting Ammonius. And when I say that, I say that for both characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Ammonius with both Pico and Gar. So once I do that, see the reason I do that is because, you know how Lava Men did Fire Blast right there? What if he physically attacked Pico, and I, ha I had Gar use a Molotov? You know, now all of a sudden I have two characters dead, and, um, you know, uh, it, who, who's to say that he's not going to physical attack and kill Gar, and, and then I get a game over? So, the fact of the matter is that you want to come prepared with Ammonias. 
Don't even worry about healing your person up after they die. Um, th there's no reason really to do it. You know, th any physical attack is going to kill them instantly anyway, so it doesn't matter. But basically, you just you do a few rounds of this, and, and I'm going to speed this up too, just because we've uh, been doing a little bit of time here. But you know, this is pretty much it. You know, you, you just keep doing this until about uh, 18, 20 times or so. And then at the end, if you want to, you can monopolize with Pico or something. Uh, I think I'll do that this turn. And he's going to hoard all the experience. So let's go monopolize. And then we're going to kill him off. Oh, so, so Pico dies there, so obviously now I switch to my ammonia phase. Where, like I said, I really highly suggest that when you cast ammonias... See, that's exactly why I cast two ammonias on somebody. So, if my if, if he physical attacks twice in a row, I, I don't have to worry, I don't have to scurry about things. See, by doing this, by casting ammonia, I, I'm not going to have to worry about um, possibly getting a game over and all my characters being killed at once. So, that... That's a big reason why, you know, I do it. And as you can see here, you know, it works out for me flawlessly. I mean, he can... He can attack me for for however long he wants. You know, as long as I don't run out of ammonias, he's gonna cast one of these... You know, it's in his AI. He's gonna cast one of these fire elemental spells one of these times. So, um... Let's give this guy an icicle. And with Pico, we're gonna monopolize. And then let's give him a... Molotov. Let's see how that works. I just, I'm really hoping that he doesn't kill Pico when we actually decide to kill him. But basically, I hope this uh, helps helps you guys out and maybe helps some people out uh, for who were unaware of this trick. Um, it, it's it's the quickest way to level up by far. So as you'll see, you know, I don't even know how many Molotovs we use, but look at that experience increase. 65,625. That's the most experience you can get per in one battle. It takes Pico from level 25 to level 35. So 10 levels in, what, how long is this clip? Like 8 minutes now? Well anyways, that's pretty much it, and that is the Lava Men leveling up trick. And uh, if you're confused at all, check the video description. I'm sure I'll have something there. But um, yeah, hope you guys found it interesting. And uh, I hope this helps everybody out. Thanks for watching.